Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is the Rocket Noz. This is a no frills, affordable gaming headset from Rocket that's a stereo headset powered by 50mm drivers and a 3.5mm jack. This is an unboxing video, I'll be doing a review on this headset shortly as well. I want to show you what's in the box and have a brief discussion about what it's like. As I said, it uses a 3.5mm connector, so it means it's compatible with PC, various consoles, and your mobile devices. I'll add all the specifications and description, but this is just give you an overview of what it's like. Now, the Rocket Noz is a fairly affordable gaming headset. It's around £60 or $60, depending on where you are in the world. And it offers a surprisingly good audio experience, actually, for that price and for the sort of headset it is. I'm usually a fan of virtual surround sound headsets and USB connections because I found them up, I find them a bit better. But if you're looking for a affordable headset and you're a fan of Rocket products, then this might well tick the right boxes for you. There are a number of highlights to it that I like, certainly. And that includes the silica gel in the box. No, I'm just joking. The Long you braided 3.5mm uh, connection means it's basically flexible to use in a variety of circumstances, which is always good. And you can understated design that comes from Rocket, which is unsurprising, is that means that you can use that one when you're out and about as well. So you could use this as headphones while on the train or on a bus or whatever. And you can disconnect the microphone so you don't need to have the mic sticking out as you're doing that. And it's easy plug and play affair anywhere you want to use it on console or PC or move between those. I also like the large closed cup design on the headphones. That blocks out a lot of external noise. As you can see, the detachable microphone is also very flexible, has this nice bend to it, which basically means you can get it in any position you want. And it records pretty decent audio quality. You'll see that if you watch the review because I'll do the voiceover with the microphone to give you an idea of what that's like. The headset itself, as I said, is pretty no frills. That doesn't mean it's terrible, it just means it's not mega high quality, but then you shouldn't be expecting that at this price anyway, to be honest. It is, however, fairly well designed from what I can see. It has that classic rocket engineering. They make a point of saying it's German. German engineering, nice and solid. It's also expandable, so it fits nicely over the head. And as I said, you've got these large ear cups which cover your ears nicely and block out a lot of external noise, which is a bonus. Also, like this long connection cable, because that means you can don't have any of that tug on your ear, which always annoys me when you get a short cable. But I did find it was getting tied up a bit. You can see it has a splitter connection, so you can plug it into a device that has two inputs, one for your microphone and one for the headphones, or you can just plug it into a single device using the accompanying splitter cable. Now, I must say, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the range on this headset. It actually delivers a really rich experience for gaming and whatnot, which is quite good, and it's very comfortable to wear as well. The only downside are these scratchy ear cups, which I find a bit uncomfortable. On the left back, you can see there's a mic mute button and a volume wheel, easy access. I did find though that the mic mute button was a bit too easy to press. And so I often muted myself without realizing and there's nothing to tell you you've done so. You can see you can bend the ear cups and extend the headband nicely though. And as I said, the microphone is easy to plug in. This has been a basic unboxing video. If you want to see the review, please be sure to like, subscribe, and check that out in the near future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, found it useful, interesting, or humorous, or all of the above. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, and also drop me a comment and let me know what you liked. And if you really didn't like it, please let me know the reasons why as well, with constructive feedback that I can use to improve my future videos. Any feedback is always appreciated. And if you have the time, please consider subscribing to my channel so you get to see more awesome content from me in future. 
I'm always looking to grow my follower base and also to keep carrying on producing interesting content on a variety of gaming peripherals, game videos, tips, tricks, unboxings, and all sorts of other things. Let me know what you like from my channel and if there's anything you'd like to see more of. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great life.